what is up you guys one more video left for my epic europe trip and that is about it this particular picture was jet ado flushing 150 liters per second amazing right it's almost as if a whale is thrusting its water from the hole i got really wet just going near it and it was amazing i just wanted to make sure that i didn't fall up into the lake geneva and uh you know swim across uh, the other side uh lake geneva is a very beautiful lake um it's pretty big and spans across almost the entire section of the french part of uh, switzerland here are some lovely swans they were very picturesque and uh, i made some lovely friends you guys um you know like i was feeding them i was like uh petting them uh they were really cute and uh, almost uh, extremely elegant and made my selfie extremely cool with lots of likes by the way just follow me on instagram at at malu underscore aug9 malu august 9th plug anyways lake geneva is a really beautiful place um it's very scenic it's very awesome uh people all around the world during the summertime or early fall time come to lake geneva and take a bath and uh, it's like lovely warm waters but since it was winter it wasn't warm at all it was very chilly and very um very very cold as you can see by me wearing the wool french beret god i hate that beret but uh, it keeps me really warm from across the every side of Geneva you can see the lake thrusting water with colors and everything so it was a Sunday and I decided to go to Mont Blanc which is the highest peak of Europe it was again very foggy again very cold and I was worried that I won't be able to see the peak of it but luckily I got to see a few stuff before that some cows um, and Mont Blanc is on the French side, so basically from Switzerland to the France side, uh, Dijon, and I had to actually get my passport and you know show them that uh, I'm crossing the border. It's a f it's very funny because I didn't do that when I was on the train, but I had to do that while traveling on the bus. It's about two hours from uh, Geneva, and it's very close. Um, and it was really nice. It was a very smooth ride. I uh, got to enjoy a lot of scenic views, uh, but not so scenic as the Toblerone Mountain. Yes, that is my favorite mountain of all. Uh, I just love that place, man. It brings me back so many good memories. Anyways, Mont Blanc is the tallest peak. Um, it is uh, very, very cold over there. And uh, literally, uh, everyone speaks French because, hey, it's part of France. So again, back to France. This is Chamonix Mont Blanc, which is, uh, again, you take a cable car all the way to the top, uh, the tippy 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 peak toes of it. Um, it takes about 40 minutes to go all the way to the top and back. And uh, it was the tallest as well as the highest elevation of the cable car. It's amazing over there. You get to see a lot of scenic views. Um, since it was a Sunday, it closed early and I just made it to the last trip. And I treated myself with a chocolate Mont Blanc. Uh, not really. I didn't eat that because um, sugar is bad. But I got to eat some amazing uh, food treats called Fugas, which was my favorite. I've never tasted something as great as that. And the view was amazing from here. So it's a very small village. Uh, this village is called Shamuni. It's very picturesque. Lots of... Uh, relic um art stuff going on um and lots of shops and stuff oh here's me eating the fugas fugas is basically toasted bread uh if ever you think that pizza is the best thing in the world you're wrong until you have tasted fugas fugas is the best thing but it's pretty di pretty difficult to make it anyways if you guys know how to make it do let me down in the comments below and um, i'll try to make one anyways um this is the other river flowing from the glaciers of mont blanc um the sun was rising sorry setting it was all it's very bright and uh you know you could just see the water flowing the ice melting it was very very beautiful and uh very cold as well and um something super amazing um you could you could go down and t uh, take a bottle of water but the water didn't taste that great a uh, true story um so basically mont blanc was discovered by two people uh who you got to see there in the statue and the best part of this whole trip was i got to be petted by a polar bear yes polar bears are super cool i made a friend there i was alone i was getting bored in all honesty because um at this point of time, I've seen like so many mountains. Um, I thought Mont Blanc would be great, but um, honestly, 
like true to heart this didn't amaze me as much as the Toblerone mountain or uh, Angelberg Mount Titlis. it was all right um but if you get a chance to go here sure i mean this is one of the most um, awesome places um to visit like a must see visit visited place in europe because it it is the tallest peak of the european region but um if you ask me it wasn't that great all right just my honest opinion and opinions are not facts anywho i took a lots of great selfies ooh la la and um some amazing shots of the water flowing yeah so chamonix interesting fact is this very small village um if you circle round and round you can finish in like half an hour tops there is an amusement park and everything but you know it wasn't that amusing if you ask me um and uh, this was the place where the last winter olympics was held so um it's pretty cool and um you can see a lot of um uh, sculptures and lots of trains going to the glacier palace i've already visited two so i skipped this one um there's a train that you can take and it goes right to the glacier palace um it's about 30 euros uh, but I found a really nice place. I was taking a toboggan ride uh, in the theme park. Yes, a toboggan ride where you sit on the toboggan and uh, just go at high speeds. Whoosh! Yeah, I was like uh, really excited uh, and amazed. See, look at the pe the boy behind me. He's having the time of his life. Just kidding. I didn't get to go there. It was closed it, since it was Sunday. I just sat on the top of an ad that was laid there. Fool! Pranked! Pr -pr pranked yeah that's the one anyways it was really hard to climb on it but um i just thought it'll be fun to fool around people so this is the chamonade uh the winter olympics uh, monument 1928 was the last time there was a winter olympics there um it's kind of cool because um you get to ski and everything over there um so yeah lots of people who want to ski on the other side but not on this side because this side is the village side which um you get to see and uh, the buses and everything was very slow um to catch a bus to another place was like one hour frequency i stayed there only for three hours um you know in all honesty if i didn't get to see this place i would have stayed in geneva i would have explored a few more places over there gone to some more palaces on the other side of lake geneva but um, I'm glad I didn't miss it, like no FOMO, seriously. So some more lake shots. At this point, you might be asking, how many selfies are you going to take of the same damn river? Uh, well, I just had three hours and uh, I didn't want to miss anything. And I was bored. I was so bored that I had to go back to my bus station and I waited for an hour for the bus. Like, come on, rescue me. Like, seriously, rescue me. The whole trip was like 60 euros and um, yeah, I wasted 60 euros. So this was the last day in Geneva. I said bye to my hostel bed, uh, bye to the awesome cold milk. Yes, I wasn't vegan at that point of time because um, dairy was my bay over there. Um, without it, I wouldn't have survived that much. Anyways, it was early in the morning in Geneva and I had to head down to the uh, Belgium in, at uh, about 12 p.m. So I just saw some early morning shots. This was around 6 or 7 a.m. And I got to see Ban de Pakis, which is the place where I said all the visitors or tourists come and take a bath over here. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get to see anyone because it is super, super cold. Um, yeah, winter bone chilling cold. So you wouldn't see any people um, taking a bath here. But I wanted to cross around the boat, which is free for all uh, people visiting Geneva. I got a pass from my hostel, so I got a set in the boat. And I went across the two sides of the Lake Geneva, uh, right close to Jet Adou. Um, the water was splashing, and it was really awesome. It was um, a very long time since I went on a boat, and uh, it was goddamn amazing. You can see the Swiss flag uh, behind me waving uh, victoriously, waving uh, with just pure amusement. People put a lot of coins in there, just like a wishing well, and uh, you get to see that. Um, if you're from Dubai, if you know what it is, there's a place called Abra, which it kind of looks low-key like that. Um, the only thing is that it is for free, and it was pretty amazing. Um, I've got to see some more few shots of this. I went to CERN the, the next day. Uh, this is the wall of reformation in the park where, um, if you see my last video, people were exercising, so I got to miss it, but this is the wall of reformation, basically talking about history, about... Um, the forefathers of Switzerland and how they got to form uh, Switzerland, the country that we know today.
so pretty interesting piece of history um true fun story is that it is very hard to see this particular place i went around the map i looped three or four times and finally i got to come to this place uh true story apple Maps saved me uh, not google maps just so that you know and uh, i am queen so this is another fun piece of uh, chess that i got to play um single player and guess who won the game me because uh, when you're playing against me i would win I wouldn't lose against me. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point of time. Uh, some more city shots, uh, some more shots of the metro. The metro and everything was amazing. This was a Monday morning. Um, so Sunday, I didn't get to see much. I just went to Mont Blanc. The Monday morning, I was rambling, trying to see some more, uh, squeeze in some more city shots, squeeze in some more museums, um, squeeze a lot of things. And there you go. I got to see CERN. CERN is basically the mother place of physics in case you have uh, read angels and demons um it is the birthplace of physics it's the birthplace of astrophysics it is the birthplace of dub 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 or the world wide web as we know today uh cern is the birthplace of many 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 scientists that we know today and it is uh, also the home of the large hadron collider where they get to study about subatomic particles and i was very very fortunate to go inside Obviously, I couldn't take many pictures because uh, when you're dealing with subatomic particles, uh, they tell you not to do that. But when I went there, um, I was so, so, so thrilled. Um, Loki, my 14-year-old uh, person, a geek, was so excited. And uh, man, this is something that you have to have to see. It's free of cost. You don't need to pay anything because science is always free. Am I right? And uh, I encourage er every one of you, whoever you get a chance, whenever you get a chance to go there, do go there. And it's really amazing and it's very life-changing um i i'm thankful to cern for giving me an opportunity to see this place um true story um i wanted to see cern anything more than the europe trip um this was the trip that i circled around uh, you might be thinking jenny was pretty boring compared to the other places and you are right but uh, cern was the only reason I had come to Geneva because I wouldn't know when I would ever do another Swiss trip or another European trip. But uh, if you, it's amazing, guys. Seriously, um, the formulas, the physics. Um, and I'm a physics nerd, and you get to see about particles, how the universe formed, the Big Bang, everything. And um, yeah, it's almost amazing, and you get to study a lot more. Uh, going just going there about dark energy about dark matter um, just going there makes you a lot smarter than uh, you are already and I know I might be exaggerating but it is true um, and I took a lot of selfies over there um, the park was open at 12 uh, and you know 12 was my uh, flight so I got to see a lot less compared to the uh, stuff that I wanted to see at CERN but I didn't regret the next thing I went to was United Nations uh, again Monday was when it was open I went in and I saw all the stuff um, there were a lot of delegates uh, again I couldn't take any pictures inside so um, I took a lot of pictures outside lots of delegates um, uh, lots of people from different parts of the country coming here to uh, see this stuff and this is what is inside uh, of uh, CERN sorry UN and that is all dog see you next time bye